In this video, we introduce the progressive mesh representation and demonstrate several of its applications. Highly detailed models are becoming commonplace in computer graphics. For instance, here is a viewpoint model of a Cessna airplane. It has roughly 13,000 faces. Here is a mesh obtained with a cyberware scanner. This mesh has over 280,000 faces. Finally, here is a radiosity solution created with Lightscape. To obtain the detailed shadow boundaries, adaptive meshing was used. Even so, the mesh has over 150,000 faces. Clearly, these meshes are cumbersome to store, transmit, and render, thus motivating a number of problems. We'd like to be able to simplify these meshes, create level of detail approximations, transmit them progressively, store them concisely, and be able to adapt their resolution in selected regions. Our contribution, Progressive Meshes, is a new representation that addresses these problems. In our research on mesh simplification, we have found that a complex mesh can be effectively reduced to a much simpler one by applying a sequence of edge collapse transformations. Each of these transformations removes from the mesh one vertex and one or two faces. Note that an edge collapse transformation is in fact invertible, we call its inverse a vertex split. We can therefore represent the original mesh as a very simple base mesh, shown here, together with a sequence of vertex split transformations that progressively add detail back to the mesh. When we apply all vertex split transformations, we recover the original mesh exactly. The progressive mesh representation has some nice properties. It has continuous resolution since we can retrieve from it approximations of any desired complexity. It is efficient because with careful encoding, it requires no more space to store than the original mesh. Finally, it is lossless since the full resolution mesh is exactly the original mesh. In addition, between any two meshes encoded by a PM representation, we are able to construct a smooth visual transition or geomorph. Here is a geomorph between two meshes in a progressive mesh representation. The first mesh has 400 faces, the second mesh has 600 faces. As you can see now, there is a smooth visual transition between the two. Therefore, we can construct a continuous level of detail representation of a model by concatenating a sequence of such geomorphs. Here we have concatenated 12 such geomorphs. We have selected the complexities of the meshes to be a geometric sequence. Here is another example, this time with a more complicated mesh. Here is a close-up look at some details of the model. Next, we do the same for a radiosity solution. There are six geomorphs, the lowest resolution mesh has 1500 faces, and the highest resolution mesh has 10,000 faces, still far fewer than the original 150,000. Even with this naive choice of geomorphs, you can already see the potential use for level of detail. And this is so much fun, we'll do it one more time. Here is a demonstration of progressive transmission. We first transmit a base mesh of 300 faces, we then transmit the sequence of vertex split transformations. In this example, the fully detailed mesh is a regular triangulation whose vertices lie at the pixels of an image. 
This demonstrates that progressive meshes can be used to represent images. So far, we have not addressed the issue of constructing these progressive mesh representations. The key questions are, what edges to collapse, and what geometry and attributes to assign to the affected neighborhoods. Ideally, the mesh should be simplified in such a way that it preserves as much as possible its original appearance. Our solution involves an optimization process. For details, we refer you to the paper. We have introduced progressive meshes, an efficient, lossless, continuous resolution representation for arbitrary triangle meshes.